Hoping you all received yesterday's demo video and demo document. First demo video, first demo document. So, this was the content I planned yesterday. And today's content is this. And the people who joined today, don't feel panic. I'll be sharing both the videos. Go through it, understand it, practice it, then only follow. And this was the running notes I typed yesterday. And I'm briefing yesterday's part for 10, 10 minutes. Ten minutes followed with fresh content. So the people who join new today, don't feel panic. I'll be sharing yesterday's video. Go through it. That was purely theoretical demo. Even today, the demo runs till eight five a.m. I just kindly stay tuned. And in this institute, we will give you two demo classes. First demo on the Power Platform and Power BI understanding, where we explain from data, data to till Power Platform, hierarchy, history, everything. The second one, Power BI practical, practical demo to explain you how easily we can install, practice, and we perform end to end operations in the Power BI. The two objects. Two demo sessions and regular classes, very detailed classes from basics to advanced. And my name is Vinay. This is my contact number. Many people called me uh, yesterday. I would like to address your queries in case you want to ask me. Yes, in 11 to 6 p.m. or 8 30 to 10 p.m., you can call me. Except Sunday. So working, I'm currently working employee. I did multiple certifications and I have many achievements, organization level, academics level, many achievements. The current class duration is two months. Daily one hour is a session. Daily one hour. And in case one month you want to finish it up, this is a contact number. You can't contact the reception, they will help you on this. But the trainer may be different. What we provide? Very good theory, practical material. As I said yesterday, theory, practical material we will provide you. <clears throat> Live class video we will give you. Full practical on the training session. And you will be having very good interaction with me in the sessions. Mock interviews conducted. Resume preparation help is there. A WhatsApp group also created. The FAQs discussed. And the training is absolutely suitable in case you want to try as a Power BI developer, dedicated developer. And this is Power BI developer role with basic SQL knowledge. And this is a language inside Power BI to perform modeling and analysis, DAX. Excel functions kind of functional language. Excel functions kind of functional languages, DAX. I will explain you in detail, you don't worry. You will understand and you can work on. So these are the, this is the opportunity more and more available in the market, you are highly eligible. Sometimes support resource, admin resource, also companies recruiting, you can try. And a few people, MSBA combination, 
tableau trick view combination azure combination they're trying on it yes it's also advisable but not compulsory and we have very good success rate in the market there are hundreds to thousands of students selected in the market only as power bi developer and you can try as a power bi fresher many companies approaching us to recruit freshers on and off they are approaching us and in this combination also you can try the all together less than 5 years of power bi experience you can keep in the resume and try in case you want to try and you are interested for more than 5 years in power bi it will not come by learning compulsory one or two projects and to and experience is required then only modeling knowledge designing knowledge architecting knowledge specialist knowledge you will get one or two projects and your knowledge when you have then only you will get this but confronting these opportunities you can try my subject is sufficient the knowledge which i am rendering is sufficient then it's a knowledge now subject below 5 years per pettukoni happy ga try cheyaniki help avutundi andlo indu ye matra sandeham ledhu so this is what we provide and these are the opportunities you can try in the market so my object my objective this is our covering power bi detailed and relevant environment components power bi plus relevant components like sql 3 to 4 hours msba tableau cubes 3 to 4 hours compulsory required microsoft ba as cubes and power platform understanding 3 hours and git 1 hour git repository 1 hour so power bi plus relevant components all i'm going to cover see this is power platform power bi desktop and dax power bi service cloud service power bi server on premises server so somebody else storage and management within the organization storage and management and page related report build up sql 3 to 4 hours msba cubes and github practice report testing to near real time projects to near real time projects multiple case studies what we provide what we cover i mentioned here look into that complete your power bi and relevant content which is suitable for interviews and to work in the organizations so before i leap into demo kindly ask your questions who all raised their hand session and sql overview or awareness is mandatory sql awareness but six seven to eight topics hardly it will take 10 to 12 hours that depth knowledge is compulsory msba azure combination really not required but if you have knowledge on ssis or azure data factory some etl knowledge always add advantage in your resume and nowadays power platform components are an advantage to power bi in case you are interested to learn learn power platform components then what is power platform components right so this is a hierarchy i am going to explain this is a hierarchy so data onwards power platform yesterday i given one hour explanation for the same 
Now, five minutes explanation, focus. We have different types of data in the market and especially three types, structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data. Three types of data available. And coming to IT applications, they use data. They use data, one for running the business, one for analyzing the business. Running the business, analyzing the business. Next, coming to BA applications, these are analytical applications. They will take the data and generate reports and dashboards. What exactly BA applications perform? Report generation, dashboard generation. For that, I given some description also in the last class. Take IRCDC ticket booking, PNR number, amount, number of passengers, start date, end date, train number, etc. available in the day-to-day -day system level. Coming to analysis level, that information converted like this. Trains having highest demand, highest demand regions, fastest booking trains, etc. From the day-to-day -day booking information, this kind of data we derive. And this data is called decision-making data, or analytical data or business intelligent data. This data. And this data usually we present in the form of report or dashboard. The report or dashboard contain visuals or insights. And yes, the reports or dashboard customers access via web page or mobile or tab. So you guys decided to work in this case, environment, decision making or analysis, report and dashboard generation in the form of visuals and insights, and presenting through web page, mobile tab. And these operations performed by PA applications, business intelligence applications. What is BA? Business intelligence, intelligence to the business. So what is what do you mean by intelligence to the business? Decision making data is the intelligence to the business. Analytical data is intelligence to the business. Then what is B application? The application which creates BA data or decision making data is called BA application. What is process? The process which we follow to convert normal data to decision making data is called BA data. So the BA process. So this is normal data. This is decision making data. Once again, what is BI? Business intelligence. Intelligence to the business, which is nothing but decision making or analytical information of the business. What is BA application? Application which converts normal data to decision making data. BA process, the layered process which converts normal data to decision making data. That is BA process. BA input, any type, anywhere, any format data. What is BA output? Report or dashboard. Business intelligence output is report or dashboard. Then what is report? Individual operation specification component. Detailed data maintained. Example, withdraw cash from ATM is an individual report. Coming to dashboard, set of individual operations we take in a high-level subset area. And here, high-level data presented. 
withdraw, deposit, loan processing, etc. All you take in a single subject area, then it's called as a dashboard. What do you call it? Dashboard. Everyone got clarity? So what you are going to generate in the organizations? A report or dashboard. Now coming to BA process. This was given early 90s. So this is your normal data. You want a decision-making data in this area. To convert normal data to decision-making data, these are the layers compulsory required. First one, ETL layer, extract, transform, load layer, which will bring the data, transform the data, load the data. Second one, warehouse, which keeps huge volumes of data. Third one, cubes. From here, required data we will take and keep the aggregate data, analytical data. Finally, presentation. Yesterday, it was little panic. Today, it is easy. The same picture again and again we are going to discuss in the regular class. You feel very comfortable after one or two days. Don't worry. First day, you may feel panic, but later. Daily, you work on the same process. You will bring the data, you store it, and you keep a separate storage, finally report and dashboard generation. There are different vendors, but no single vendor have given end-to-end -end process. First time one organization have given end-to-end -end process that is Microsoft and the component is MSBA. MSBA is the first business intelligence suit in the market to perform end-to-end -end using multiple tools. Integration services, one tool. We call it as SSIS. SQL Server Integration Services, SQL Server Analysis Services, SQL Server Reporting Services, Data Quality Services. These are the components available to perform end-to-end -end BA operations. And that I explained yesterday, MSBA, Microsoft Business Intelligence is suit with multiple tools to perform end-to-end -end operations. MSB having features before 2005 year market base. And this was the first version. This is a second version. This is a third version. If you see this, there's a gap of two, three years. So every two, three years, a new release, new version with market features, MSB level. And MMS, Microsoft is a leader since 2008. Microsoft is a leader in the analytics and BA since 2008. This is a link kindly open, then you will come to know. Even I opened yesterday, what are the competitors? What are the challenges? Look at that. See, Microsoft a leader. I'm not telling this year. Today, we are announcing that for the 15th consecutive year, Microsoft has been positioned as a leader in so-and-so. So the Microsoft is a leader. And remaining all, next. So if somebody asks you, Microsoft market is gone or Power BI market is gone, yes. Their perception is wrong. They're simply making the videos. They're spreading the rumors. There are many videos I have seen on the YouTube yesterday and day before yesterday. Is really Power BI going to end? Their experience is hardly three to four years. They are talking about Power BI and Power BI market. I don't know. Now everyone crazy about YouTube videos. Without IT knowledge, not even they worked as a team leads. Not even they, they work for seven to eight years, but they're making videos and placing thousands of views. And you people also believing the same. See the statistics. Don't listen to those kind of videos and watch it. How come a three years experience, four years experience, a five years experience, girl and boy, conclude about market and tool? You think? So don't believe YouTube videos. And maximum 98% of YouTuber who are making videos are fake, uh, sorry, non-working employees. Non-IT organization working employees. Right, sir. So the topic is different, right? Come to 
Power BI. So if MS BI is leader, so Microsoft is a leader, then why Power BI? The problem is after 2005, there is a huge resolution in the market. Revolution in the market. Not resolution, revolution. Facebook, Twitter, these kind of applications release. Cloud applications also available after 2008. Mobile and tab applications available after 2008. We are using smartphone for the last four to five years. There's a huge change. So Microsoft decided, why don't we continue our leadership by adding some new features? That is powering BA or adding more features to existing BA. Power BA purely constructed on MS BA and some other BA components of Microsoft. They announced in 13, announced in 13 and with the mobile friendliness, cloud support, on-premises support. What is cloud support? You can keep your reports in Microsoft storage and you can manage. So no need to maintain a separate server in your company. No need to administer it. No need to monitor it. You can purely depend on Microsoft. For that, you pay for it. Our second one, you want to have your own server. You want to administer it. Yes, you install the server. That is on-premise. Top companies using both. Small companies, they're existing with only cloud because they're not able to maintain setup and all. And any data power BI level possible anywhere, any format. Better embedding we have. This is the most beautiful feature. If you take Tableau report, you cannot show in the Facebook level, Twitter level, and many places. But Power BI report, you can keep in almost all websites, portals, and many areas. That is one more beautiful thing. Then the feature is called embedding. Embedding indicate keeping Power BI report in websites, portals, and different applications. MS BI reports also not having that capability. Power BI has that. And ultimate one, self-service BI. MS BI level, three components available. They are doing entry and operation. And Power BI level, three concepts available, three to four concepts available to perform entry end. They simplified the process. See the IT evolution. 90s, 90s, multiple tools, multiple components. 20s, sorry, 2005 to 2008, suits where multiple tools are available to do that. But now, single application will do all the process, all the operations. See, process simplified, reduced account to the market demand, market usage, demand and usage. Power BI level, Power Query is the concept which will do this process. Power BI level, Power Pivot is the concept which will do this process, so this process. Power View and Map is a process which will do this. Multiple concepts available in the Power BI to perform end-to-end -end operations. The process much more simplified, much more simplified. Process chala simplified and the people Power BI is to do. MSB like more tools also led. MSB market are also very strong now. Resume petty children, the mechanic also said that the Naukri LinkedIn local children, Miranipan tools to compare chain, you will come to know. Okay. Right. Next one Azure BA. Sorry. Power BA. This is the one. And Power BA features are this. In another few minutes, I'm going to start a practical to prove this self service BA operation. But if somebody asks you why Power BI announced by Microsoft, tell the same reason. These are not available in MSBI. So to provide it, Power BI released. And not only that, Power BI level, no versions available. No versions. And we have monthly updates. We don't have versions. We have monthly updates. Continuously, Power BI scientists monitoring the market, taking the changes immediately. For example, a new tool, new application, available in the market. Immediately, they will contact you in the next month update. Next month update, they will tell, yes, we contacted the so-and-so team and we brought that feature into Power BI. This is a major reason why people scared to compete with Power BI. Chala companies buy to put in a Power BI to see monthly updates in Chusi. Continuous come monitor chase, trigger chase kone component. Then the compete chain of the easy car. The next 10 years, no doubt, it will ruin the rust. Next 10 years. But market correction, you need to have some patience. Now, 
and that there is one more reason why I'm using the word, you will come to know. MSBA, yes. Power BA, wonderful. It will generate reports and all quickly. But a few people asked. Power BA level, we don't have this ETL facility completely, cube facility completely in the Power BA level. Power BA is good. It can bring the data, perform required transformations, try to understand and store limitedly and generate wonderful reports. Majorly, it's an analytical tool, a reporting tool, Power BA, but it will do all these operations. So some companies ask Microsoft, and you are very strong in MSBA. This is on-premises level. That means the MSBA component should be installed in your company, the servers, and you need to administer it. MSBA components, my company will install just quality as servers. Then people ask Microsoft. So you are good in reporting, reporting also cloud available. Why this ETL processing, this warehouse storage, this queue processing not in the cloud? They are added in the Azure level. Azure is a cloud, like Amazon Prime, Netflix, like that, Google Drive, like that, Amazon, uh, sorry, Azure is a cloud. And it will perform different types of operations, storage operations, platform operations, and multiple operations, server operations, service operations, etc. So Microsoft decided, why don't we add BI features also in the Azure? So SSIS is on-premises ETL, the same equivalent cloud level ETL is ADF, Azure Data Factory. Cloud level, if you want to perform ETL process, Azure Data Factory. SSAS is on-premises within the company level, analytical processing. The same Azure level, Azure Analysis Services, AAS. You want storage, data warehouse kind of storage. You can go to Synapse, Data Lake, Snowflake, etc. Storages. So MSBA for on-premises. Azure for cloud. Azure BA is physically not available. Azure level, if you do BA operations, you can call like Azure BA, but there's no tool, no component called Azure BA in the market. Azure BA in a tool, gaani, Azure BA in a component, gaani, market to le do. If you do BA operations in the Azure business intelligence operations, then Azure BA and Taro. Got clarity? Then what about Power BA, sir? How Power BA related? Although Though you're using cloud components, if you want reporting, again, you need to come to Power BI. This is a major reason why MSBA plus Power BI opportunities available, Azure plus Power BI opportunities available. You may work in the company with MSBA projects, Azure projects, which means your ETL, your Cubes, MSBA components, reporting is Power BI. Your ETL, your Cubes, your storage in the Azure, but again, reporting Power BI. So Microsoft made a common reporting for all its BA application that is Power BA. So you may see a different combination, but reporting is common. That is Power BA, the strongest reporting. Is this clear with everyone? Am I convinced? Yes, Vinay, it's clear. Thank you. Fine, sir. Even uh, initially, my organization having data storage, daily inquiries and all. We were used to keep in local machine, laptop, and laptop databases. And now we are not keeping laptop and database. We, we are keeping the cloud only. We are using Azure Cloud. And we are having four issues. You are aware of offline people. Those all having access to Azure Cloud. They will go there, they will operate it, and they will store the data and all. It's easy. Everyone can come from their home with an account. Right, sir. So successfully, the cloud BA, on-premises BA, common reporting, I explained. Now, the next part for today, practical part is self-service BA, Power BA, practice. What is self-service BA? N to N BA. So if you pass data, it will do extraction, Transformation, sir, is it compulsory? Compulsory. 
because you need to convert it to different format. We never drink rainwater directly. Do we drink it? We pass to multiple layers and drink it. But uh, what we say, the rainwater only will drink. So data, extraction, transformation, modeling, securing, visualization. Ultimately, we get BA data. What type of data? We have business intelligence data. And this is performed in the Power BI using an application called Power BI Desktop. What is desktop? In academics, we studied Windows desktop. Graphical components area to perform set of operations. Power BI desktop. Power BI graphical components area to perform set of operations. Set of operations. Is this clear? Excellent. Next one. Now, this is the report creation component. Report or dashboard creation. What about storage? Storage is Power BI service. This is cloud service, cloud storage. Or Power BI server. This is on-premise server within the company we will keep in stock. So this is for creation, this is for storage. What about additional components? We use additional components like paginated report builder, Power BI developer, Power BI embed codes, etc. These are additional components. So today's class is this. Tomorrow, I'll give you explanation about this, but these are the components used frequently. One is desktop for creation, service or server for storage and management. Understood? All right. Now, in this desktop level only, Power BI desktop concepts. We have Power Query, we have Power Pivot, and we have Power View and Map. These are desktop components. Which components? Desktop. Within the desktop, these are available. And this is for extraction transformation. This power query. Power pivot for modeling. And power view and map visuals. So BA and B and operation, these components will perform. Then how do we install desktop and how do we operate? Slowly you watch and practice today, feel comfortable, then continue from tomorrow. How do we desktop installation? Three ways actually. But I will tell first way today. First way is Google it, comma, download from advanced option because no account is required. Power BI account is not required. Pro or premium kind of accounts not required. So Google it and download. What about configuration? The configuration, Windows. 8 or above, but 10 is recommended. 10 or above is recommended. Ensure 4 GB RAM available. 2 GB also works. 4 GB is good. Ensure 1, 2 gigahertz processor available. Processor speed available for your operations. Storage is not mandatory but RAM is required and two gigahertz processor is required, OS is required, sufficient. Now, let me go, go to this, 
Google it. Power BI desktop download. Downloads. Now Microsoft Power BI desktop. Download advanced option. Use this. No account is required. With account, tomorrow I will tell you. Download. Simply it is telling us. It will transform your data into. Advanced option. It will transform your data into dashboards and reports. This is what the point I told you. Correct? Me data and reports and dashboards were presented. And now Microsoft Power BI desktop, click download. This is the one. In case your machine is 64 bit, download this. 32 bit, download this. Sir, how do I come to know? Don't worry, the installation, configuration, detailed process tomorrow. Installation, one hour for installation and all setup. That is tomorrow session. Today, just high level. If your machine is 64 bit, download it. After downloading this, see highlight next. After downloading, go to this, click on it. In the download folder available like this and the size is 378 mb 378 mb this is the one and here we have 380 mb recently increased in 2013 when i observed it was 23 mb 2015 it was 40 to 50 mb as the capability increased now it is 380 mb 380 mb Google it, download it, it appears like this. Click next, next, finish. Once it is completed, you will find an icon like this on the desktop. This application, make it ready, point one. So Power BI application ready to generate reports or dashboards. Then what it does, I told you, this will take your normal data, convert into BI data. Or you can say decision making data. But how does it will convert? We'll see. Where is normal data? This is my family expenses data, Power BI. Please look at this family expenses Excel sheet. My daily spending available in this Excel sheet. This is an Excel sheet. For our comfortness, I'm taking Excel sheet practice. Even I'll give you the file also. But in the regular class level, databases, cubes, XML, JSON, multiple inputs will work. This is demo Excel for regular class. Databases, cubes, JSON, web, multiple types of data we use in the regular class. Right. So this is your Excel. Look at this. The first one is normal heading, which is talking about data. First row. And second onwards having data. Date, amount, reason, area, location. In this date, this amount, for this reason, this area, location. So during COVID time, my spending I kept. How much money I spent in a particular location, in a particular reason, and how much money? COVID time. And I want to analyze for which reason I spent more money, which reason I spent less money, which area I traveled most, which area infrequent travel, and total how much money in a month, in a week, in a day. I want to identify. That is called decision-making data. This is a normal data 
and you want to convert into decision making data, then Power BI is helpful. And that to Power BI desktop is helpful. Desktop. So open it. Click Power BI desktop. I am opening Power BI desktop. Please look at this. This is Power BI desktop. And the first, this is the first screen, a wonderful screen. I will explain tomorrow. I will close it. This is a main interface. Main interface. I will talk about this interface. This is color blind friendly interface. That means color blind people can work. Usually reporting tools not used by color blind people. But this is colorblind friendly interface. They can also work. Next, this tool will get the data. It will extract first getting this extraction. If the data is not good transformation in our file level, the first row we need to remove. No use. That is an explanation or header we need to remove. So it comes to transformation. If multiple inputs available, we need to apply relationships. Relationship is modeling. With multiple available without relationship, how do you use it in a single area? Not possible. So modeling. If you want to allow only required people to see, secure. Raju has to see Raju data. Madhu has to see Madhu data. Manager one has to see Manager one data plus subordinates data. That comes under security. Finally, visualization, visuals. And this data is called BI data. So this tool will do this operation. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. If you go to 90s BI tools, if you perform operations with the 90s, multiple tools from multiple companies required, compulsory. In 2005 to 2000, yeah, 2005 to 2010, we need single suit and multiple tools. And now, single application in Microsoft. That is Power BI. So this operation extraction, we do here. Transformation, we do here. Modeling, we do here. Security, we do here. Reporting, we do here. All the areas are nearby. No multiple tools, no single suit. Single application sufficient. In the next five, 10 minutes, I'm going to explain how to bring the data, how to transform the data. Modeling not possible because multiple inputs not available. Mandagra multiple tables level, so modeling chain level. That I will show you tomorrow. So how to bring, how to transform, and security not required at this moment, but reporting required reporting. These three I will show you now. How to get, how to transform, how to report. You also practice the same at home. Feel comfortable. Then only continue. Right, sir. I will clear this. What to do? If you want to convert this data into analytical data, extract. Get data, Excel. Very simple. Where is it? It is in my machine. I will go to this. I will place it. And this is a sheet. Get data. Very simple, guys. Get data. Excel browser sheet. Click load. You can see the data, sir. So this is what you get. Once you get, it will come to this area. Now you want to see, you can go, you need to go to this area. 
first time looks navigation complex but daily duty is this so you feel very very bored so go to this grid click on this table show you the data everything is okay but column headings are not proper it is supposed to be here day to amount to reason area location so this data has to be transformed this data has to be transformed how home menu i told you first area is this second area this click transform it will open one window transformation window see separate window we call it as a power query that's the reason i told you here power query which will extract and trans this is a power query area so here transformation is very simple what is that this one removing or this one taking as a header this one if you want to do this click on this corner there is a property called use first row as header these are all the transforms take this is okay so you go to this use first row as header one more from here i want month split month name split august july etc available month name i want then click on this only add column from examples if you want month name click on it in this area it will ask you see it will add like this in this area ask you so double click select month name where is the month name month name select one value double click on it you got the month august july and all click okay no need to write any logic any formula if you want to take month name from this this is august month this is july month you can take it very easily how go to this and add a column from exam you will come to know the regular class very clearly but however i did you can practice for it once it is completed close and apply i don't need this window my transformation is completed i need to save and close as my transformation is completed i need to save and close i'm doing the same ready again you see go to data view the data is correct looking good even month name also added now modeling anyway we can't do because only one available but this is the third step in the real time i go for reporting fifth step this is the report and the reporting level we take visual we take these fields combination first my uh, i need how much percentage of money i spent for every reason here reason indicate books travel etc how much percentage of money i spent percentage then go to pie chart click pie chart pie chart here legend is there legend legend is actual value this is a number so legend usually we take reason value you will take in the value area wherever value comes which value you want analyze what are the textual thing available that is listen so reason i will take amount i will take ready the picture is very small you can make it bigger here to see click on this it's clearly telling food 50 percentage amount i spent travel 28 percentage entertainment 8 percentage petrol 5 percentage and internet 5% something like this this is composition between data to this analysis no coding no logic power bi is able to 
show the data. You can easily analyze it. Okay, food, we spend more money. Total money, this is. No filtering. Total food money is more. Okay. And in the data level, entertainment, 10% total in the total data. Okay, next. I want to see the values. Take table. Click table. Take table. This is a table visible. Columns. First column reason, a tick mark. Second column amount, tick mark. Expand bigger. Books, total money. Entertainment, total value. Travel, total value. All together, all values, this. 1,7,900. I want to compare. For which reason I spent more money, which reason I spent less money. Here also you can compare, but composition is good. But better comparison, we go to bar charts. In the regular class, this topic I will cover for 10 days. 7 days to 10 days. But this is a demonstration I am covering quickly. Click bar chart. Y axis. This is Y axis. This is X axis. X axis, Y axis. What you will take? Your wish. Y axis level, I take reason. X axis level, I take amount. Y axis reason, X axis amount. Explore with them. Food, travel, entertainment, petrol, internet, books. Food and travel, more money I spent. Internet and books, less money I spent. And you want geographical map. There's a map available. Map. What are the locations you traveled? You want to see map. <coughs> Location you take. Tick map or select map. And then location you place in the location. Explore bigger. See India locations. Because I traveled to Vijayawada, Vishakhapatnam, Hyderabad, this showing me the same. Now, sir, can I filter the data? If you want to filter the data, go to slicer. This is overall data, but a particular month data you want to see. Click slicer. Slicer. Month name which you created place there. August and July only available. With a small font, August and July. Two months data only that is. No need to take only month. You can take e location also, no problem. Year also, no problem. Anything, no problem. I click August. August month spending 74,300. August month level, food I spent 55%. July month. July month level, 33,000. And July month level, travel more. Travel more, food next. July month. And only these three locations, July month, I travel. This is the way you can create wonderful visuals, wonderful visuals in Power BI. And in this desktop document level, we have extraction part, we have transformation part, we have modeling, reporting, everything. So this is called a document. What do you call it? Desktop document. If you want to save it, save it. File menu, save. What document saved with? Dot .docx. Excel document saved with dot .xlsx. Power BI document saved with PBIX. This is not a report, it is a document because multiple things we have. Sir, my friends and all calling report. Due to lack of technical knowledge, they may call it, but it is a document. PBIX. I will save in the demo level. When I take Power BI. First demo report on 08-09-2022. But we don't give it to customer this part, this part, this modeling part, security part. Only we will share this to customer. How? Customer don't bother about your extraction transformation. All. They need only visuals for analysis. How? So in that situation, we need to move to either service 
cloud service or server. There we manage. There we understood everyone. That management part in the tomorrow's class. I'm closing it. Now the area where is saved, I will go documents, demo information. See what is the extension Microsoft taking? This is our file, file as a document, not as a report. If it is a report file, it will tell you report file only. See, however, text document, Word document, Excel documents available, the same with software. So today we created a Power BI document by performing multiple operations. Anything complex you found? No, right? So extraction part you will enjoy in the classes. Transformation part also you'll enjoy. Options only, no code, no code. Modeling part, relationships you will enjoy. But more modeling you want to do, like calculations and analytical operations, top, bottom, etc. There you require tax language, which is a functional language. If you no Excel functions, how do we write? The same way we write, and no programming part. This is the only little coding area in Power BI as part of business logics. Microsoft cannot give you for formulas for your business. They have given normal formulas. You need to make multiple formulas. So you, you need to use multiple formulas to make an expression. So this is a only one area, little. Coding required, rest all areas, no coding, everything graphical. Got it? Right, sir. Power be a little complex area, also, I clearly explained. So, whatever I plan for today, I'm successfully done. So, this is the desktop we used. We created a report and it's storage management is pending. This is cloud, this is on-premises, and this only customers use it. We worked on this part today, this pending. And here also graphical, no coding, no coding, full graphical, easy to understand, these two also. No coding, no need to use keyboard also. With mouse only you can operate. Look at this. So this is what I'm going to cover in the next two months. Power platform, Power BI desktop and DAX. I told you modeling language, analysis language, service, cloud, on-premises server. This is a report builder topic, compulsory report. Yes, SQL three to four hours I will cover, not sufficient. So you need to learn separately. But as part of classes, this time only I will get. And MSB cubes I will cover, this is important. GitHub practice I will give you. Report testing, I will give you two near rail term projects, multiple case studies. This is what I'm going to cover in the next two months. You need to have patience to attend my classes, detailed classes. And my course is designed for interview purpose and working purpose. In case you want to write certification, 7 to 80% only covered in the PL300 examination. This is an examination available for Power BI. 7 to 8. Remaining, you need to prepare from the materials. And this is my contact number. In case you want to talk to me, you can call me. In between these timers. And if you want fast track and all, reach out to them. And current batch regular class. Current demo regular class, 7 a.m. highest from tomorrow. 7 to 8 a.m., the regular class. I have totally six batches, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10,
evening 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9. These are the batches I'm having. In between, I work for office, no classes. The current batch is this. Next upcoming batch, evening 78. And after that, 8 to 9 a.m. Next batches. Current batch, after one week, this one, after one week, so 15 days. After 15 days, 8 to 9. Till that that is. That's all about my batches and schedule. I'm stopping for the day. And I'm open for your questions.